Yo, what's up? It's me, Perishman. I'm back again because I felt like it. Anyways, uh, today's video is basically like the new style of videos I'm going to be doing. It's a part of it. So yes, it, uh, some of you guys wanted uh, general high pixel stuff, and I wanted to leave environment shorts. So that's that adds up well. But yeah, uh, it's general high pixel content with dual story time, everything high pixel related. But I'm not leaving my men in the dust, okay? I'm still gonna be streaming, making some few videos on it, YouTube shorts. Yeah, it's it's still gonna be like that. And also, uh, subscribe. Yeah, this is the part of the video where I tell you guys to subscribe and also join my Discord server. It's like the promotional area of the video that every single YouTuber has. I'm still a really small YouTuber, so I don't really need them. But it's subscriber, so I do need them. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's you have seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know what this video is about. It's about the first day at middle school. And by the way, uh, something that you guys need to know about Norwegian middle schools is that uh, it's kind of different than like the casual normal middle schools. Because yeah, I searched it up on the internet. It says that middle school in like normal countries is like from 11 to 14 years old. Which no, I'm not 11. But hell, no way, middle school starts at like 13, you're like 12, 13 years old, then you, then it ends when you're like 15, 16 years old. But yeah, without further ado, here's like the first day of middle school. So first of all, I woke up at like 6am, okay? Mom brainstormed into the room. She busted out the door. I was like, wake up, it's school! It was so dramatic. But yeah, I uh, ate some food, changed clothes. Brushed my teeth, then I got driven to school, went out of the car, went to the school, and there was no one in sight. Everyone just disappeared out of the thin air. I saw no one. Okay? I didn't go into school yet. I didn't know if I was supposed to like, go into the main entrance or the goddamn cafeteria and stuff like that. I don't know. See, I was just standing there outside, just figuring out where the hell to go. Then I see someone go into the cafeteria. It's like 8.40 a.m. now. The cafeteria shouldn't even be open. So I'm like, uh, okay, I can walk in with him. Like behind him, like 10 meters behind him. Just to check if we're supposed to go there. And there I see the big ass cafeteria. With like, there, there's a stage in it. There's a stage in the cafeteria. So yeah, there's like a... A lineup of chairs, like multiple rows of chairs and stuff. So I sit in the front because uh, all all of the people that I knew, my homies, friends, were sitting there in the front row, and it was a free seat. So I sat there, and then uh, the principal of the school walked up on stage, and then she started babbling about how excited they are to meet us, and they've been looking forward to teaching us and stuff like that, even though we know deep down that they don't even care. It's just another year at their job. They're just doing this to get paid. They don't even care about our lives. They just care about the getting paid. So yeah, after they gave us the really uninspiring speech, then they told us who is in whose class. Luckily for me, I was in the same class as like m most people that I, kn that I know. Like homies, friends, people that I know. Yeah. Except for one guy. Sciactic. Why don't you just switch your class, man? You could just... You can just ask the teachers. You could be like, uh... All of the people that I know is in this one specific class. Can I like leave this one and then join the H class? No, not the H class. I mean like the F class. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I mean... I'm in the F class. You know basically no one in your class, as far as I know. After stuff happened, uh, we went into our classroom. There's like a lot of people that I don't know, but there's a lot of people that I do know. Like 50% I know, 50% I have no clue on who they are. Then we get to see our lockers, our PC lockers, and just to let you know guys know, my locker is missing a bolt. So that means my locker is at a permanent 45 degree angle, and it's broken. Then you got the PC locker, which is impossible to open for some weird reason. Everyone else is easy to open, but mine is impossible. You need this brute strength of five Egyptian guards. I asked, like, who I think is the strongest in class, like, open it. He wasn't able to open it. Then, someone 
comically said, what if you just uh, knock on the door? Then the people inside can open it for you. So I was like, eh, sure, it's a funny idea. It's not gonna work. Or will it? See, I knocked on the PC locker, then I opened it. And it worked! Then I got my PC, I was happy. My PC had no power left. Everyone else has had power left, okay, except for like three people. Uh, then, we got to meet our teachers. I just let you guys know, we got two teachers. Who's like the main character teacher, yeah. You got a random uh, woman who's trying to be who's trying to be like cool with the cool kids and stuff like that, even though even though she says Gen Z stuff, it just sounds really stupid. Then you got Professor X. Yeah, I'm not joking when I say it. He is a one to one replica of Professor X. He looks exactly like him. It's not like yeah, he kinda looks like him. No no no. no. He is Professor X. Then we have to do like 20 million get to know each other games. Which is like, okay, I'm gonna say my name and stuff that I like to do. Then you are gonna say something. Then I'm going to go to a different person. Then we're going to have to meet and greet each other. See, I was really having awkward. Nobody really cared about anyone's intentions. Then we did that for like the entire day. Then I went home. Luckily for me, there's, there was no homework. And the entire day, we just got to know each other. But yeah, that's basically like the first day of school. It's really weird. Give me ideas on what to do, since I need them in my disco so You should definitely join, by the way. I'm not holding a hostage. <gasps>